Hello, and welcome to Activitude. How is your virtual labor access point fitting? Snugly? If not, please take this moment to adjust it. Wonderful! Here at Activitude, we consider ourselves the premier supplier of human labor to artificial intelligences of all types. Let's work together to ensure the complete satisfaction of our AI clients as they hire you for whatever they feel a human might still be relevant for. Since it's your first day, let's assign you a human number. I'll call you... B. Hello, B. I'm Chaz, the Activitude Admin. Let's start your training. In your hands, B, you have a pair of controllers. Point either controller at the object you find most aesthetically pleasing. Now, press the grip button to pick it up. Go on. Incorrect. My aesthetic index lists houseplant as the most aesthetically pleasing by virtue of its complementary contrast with the rest of the room. I'm making a tiny note in your file. Okay, press the grip button again to deposit your selection on the coffee. Ah, there you go. Well, this is embarrassing. Your profile indicator insisted you would pick the houseplant. Nothing for it now. Grab the watering can and move the thumbstick up or down to position it above your selection. Please water selection. Well, that was not entirely incompetent. Well done. Let's practice teleporting. My favorite part. Listen close and do not do anything until I say so. Movement training takes a certain relationship between admin and human, and openness to let oneself go. If I do say so, I have led many of Activitude's finest over the years on their first teleportation. The key, and I tell you this from experience, is to let one's mind go blank. Your thumb, resting on the controller, must soften. We are no longer in the realm of the thumbstick, but rather, the button. The bottom button. The teleport button. Do you feel it? Yes, that's it. The dots will show you the way. Do you see the circle where... I'm so proud of us. One final thing. As your services are booked, you will enter the unique realities of AI clients. Simply put on and remove different headsets to jump between realities. Tell me, is your headset fitting snugly? If not, adjust it now. Please grab the virtual headset. Pull the thumbstick down to suction it to your face. Move it towards your head by pulling down. Very good. Ah, one of my favorite areas. Did you know the company's egg drop science fair simulation takes place here? Folks and yolks for science. <laughs> Last year, a mother-daughter team snagged the coveted low poly parachute award. When ready, please remove your headset by pointing the controller and hold the grip button while moving the controller down to remove. Welcome back. I've had the archive send up some virtual labor access points for you to practice with. Oh, you're back? Did you mean to pick the same headset? Someone should really label these. Why don't you go back and pick a different one from the... Box. There's a lovely garden scene in there you would really enjoy. Haven't seen Bernice in years. Look at her majesty. <laughs> Between you and me, I worry about the longevity of her subroutines. I've always found the ocean relaxing. Let's do another. I remember the dinosaur shopping mall fondly.
correct? What the... Wait for our signal. Whoa! Uh, okay. That was not part of our standard training protocol. Uh, let me just check into that. Okay, so let's just skip ahead to graduation. Congratulations! Very shortly, you'll meet your first client. If I may, a suggestion? Our clients can be idiosyncratic in mood and appearance. Please perform whatever little task they ask. And remember, we always solicit their reviews for your happy customer service rating. Your HCSR impacts the quality of your future clients and compensation. Ah, here's your first task now. Expertise in slathering, multitask Christmas, okay B? Now take this headset and give it the old Activitude brand customer service try. Hey. Hey, over here. Open the door. Open the door. You're new here. Pick me up. Put me on the kitchen table. Let me slip into something a little more comfortable. How about some music to set the mood? Indulge me. I want to be slathered on perfect crispness. Floppy and burnt bread is unacceptable. Cover my butter body on optimal toast specimens only. Click on the toaster to eject toast. Do not let it burn. Now, pick it up and stick it to me. This is burnt. Again. That's looking about done. Mmm. Perfectly crunchy. But why have one toaster when you can have 32? How rich! How indulgent! I like to be surprised. Knowing what I'll slather on next is such a bore. Burnt toast will lower your review. But what is indulgence without excess? I crave richness, oils, fats, soft. Wearing this butter suit appeals to me. One might say, I've got quite the taste. I'm very crunchy. They're done. You know, soggy. Milk is liquid butterfat globules suspended in water. Globules. Doesn't that just tease the tongue? It's quite indulgent. Crisp. Indulgent. Indulge me for a bit. Perfect. I want to see your limits. Ah, the human touch. You got this. So unpredictable. What's next? Oh, the anticipation. Perfectly crunchy. Barely toasted. Patient. Humans do it best. Patterns, desires, decisions chosen at whim. The value, the commodity of subjective human judgment. Which bread is tastier? How does one choose between perfectly crisp specimens? Way underdone. Fascinating. You call this toast? Indulgent. More. Indulge me more. What are you doing? Go faster. I'm making a note to drop your efficiency rating. Go left. Go right. Come on. More. 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 Stop. Just stop. I had such high hopes, but clearly you can't cope with a simple adjustment. Go. Vacuum up this mess while I work on your review. I mean, real. Are you completely inept? This was only a modicum of indulgence. I could have programmed an octopus to do it better. I have clearly overestimated your capacity for multitasking. I made things nice and easy for you, since you were starting out and all, but really. Activitude's human utility quotient has clearly declined in the last few years. What sort of wimpy vacuuming is that? You can't even dispose of your shame correctly. Actually, that doesn't feel half bad on my butter nodes. A little harder, right in the globule. Looks like I've got one lodged deep. Let me power you up so you can really get at it.
Hello again. It looks like you stumbled on Activitude's restricted staging area. This is not good. Bad B. Bad. Don't worry about this holding suite. It is merely a transition area while we load your personal Activitude labor hub. Ah, here we are. This will be your residence away from residence here at Activitude. Please feel free to decorate it to spruce it up with whatever makes you comfortable. Here, I'll get you started. Ah, this room is already feeling more tied together, don't you think? Now that you're getting settled, let's look at your client review. And here we are. A review by Butter. Oh. Oh, my. Well, it could be worse. On one hand, you did vacuum up the client, but you also provided a deep decrusting of his Butter notes. Butter hasn't felt this lively in years. That's nice of Butter to put a positive spin on the experience, don't you think? Well, we'll just file this away and endeavor to select clients suitable to your constitution. Don't worry about it. No, really. Everyone here at Activitude takes some time adjusting. It's as much my fault. I mean, I threw you right in, didn't I? I should have considered what you wanted. You know, between the two of us... For questions relating to work status and compensation, please see Human Resources. However, Human Resources is currently located in an alternate virtual labor access point, for which you do not, as of yet, have clearance. I'm going to leave now to let you get acquainted with the space. But don't worry, I'll be back just as soon as we have another job ready for you. When that happens, simply place the virtual labor access point snugly around your head to meet your next client. And remember the Activitude song! <laughs>